Hey, it's Ryan. Uh, I'm doing a little tune-up with Piper on her loose leash walking. Uh, so we're correcting her kind of like running off. Um, just have a slip leash on her right now. And you're gonna see me give a lot of little tugs. I'm never pulling, just a quick tug and then release. So she's out in front, tug, tug. Little pop. Leave it. She's going off the smell in the grass. She's had a chance to go to the bathroom. She's given her plenty of chances. Ah. Piper. Piper. Good. Let's go. Mm. You can see her just like get excited and go running and we're just giving a little correction for that and not only is this going to help her walking on leash uh -uh, but it's it's about correcting kind of like crazy erratic behaviors like you're on a leash you can't you know if she was a big dog and she just took off running like that you know it'd be a different story she's a small dog but we still they still learn the same way and we have to treat them the same way Piper! Ah uh ah! -uh. Yeah, she looked up at me instead of completely taking off. Let's go! Better. Good. Let's go! So, like I was saying, not only is this to help her with the loose leash walking, but it's, it's about impulse control. It's about correcting the crazy behavior and promoting calm behavior. Let's go! Good girl, Piper. Let's go. Cars. Ah, uh -uh. good. She stopped before hitting the end of the leash, which was good. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Let's go. Good. Piper. Piper, let's go. Uh -uh. Let's go. So we also have another dog out here. Uh -uh. Nothing changes. Let's go. Good girl, Piper. Yeah. She wants to go towards that other dog, but we're on a walk right now, All right? She's not dictating. She's not the leader of this walk. <laughs> Let's go. Good girl, Piper. Yes. Good girl. Lots of praise here. She's right at my, at my heel. I think she's smelling my leg, which it's fine. This is exactly where I want her to be. Good girl, Piper. Let's go. Good. Good girl. Yes. Very good. Truck coming. Let this car pass. Good girl, Piper. Chase, let's go. I'm right back to it. Leash is completely loose. Oh, she said, I'm going to walk up myself. Leash is completely loose right now. She's exactly where I want her. Right, and it didn't happen with just one or two corrections. I was giving her 
a lot of little pops, a lot of little fine tuning. Every time she goes off to the side, pop. You know, every time she lunges out in front, pop. Every time she hangs behind like that, pop. You got to hold her accountable for every every time. Uh uh-uh. Every time she leaves this position, and over time, you know, if if you got a little t- pop every time you left my side, you would eventually realize, okay, I need to stay here. This is where I'm not uh, getting a correction. And I know with her, because she's so small, like, she's not a big dog. She's not going to pull you, drag you. (laughs) So it's not super important, but it is important when it comes to going past another dog, right? And you don't want her to lunge at the other dog and go crazy at the other dog so you want to train this behavior when there's no other dogs around and you want her to be doing this when there's no other dogs squirrels whatever she's reactive to so that when you do uh -uh, when you do come past uh those triggers um that she knows this is the this is the behavior we want this is the safe behavior So uh, we'll end her video there for today before it gets too long. And we'll see you again on the video tomorrow. Let's go.